So, first of all, they come in showing the system, which is a plus, getting straight to the core. It looks very crisp to me for its size. I think it's kind of hard to achieve a good looking design, especially with it being bigger. But this is a, it's a bigger being attributed to the uh, functions and features that it's gonna have. It's gonna be, you're gonna be able to watch TV from it, which a lot of people have made fun of because they felt like they were starting to become distant from the gamers and more towards the living room audience. What we have previously, that right here is what is looks like the what was the Xbox Connect on the Xbox 360, but we have a more improved camera for the Xbox One. The controller itself, I like because it seems very comfortable, seems very accessible around the buttons. Cloud power, that means that you, you should be able to get through your different programs very smooth and fast. Real life, that means that it also the games will be running smoothly, which a lot of while well, a lot of people like Xbox 360. But once again, we're back on Xbox Live. That wasn't everybody's favorite. They seem to be getting in connect with everybody who likes to communicate around the rural, watch TV, the living room audience. PS4 trailer coming up next. PS4, they show a little bit of glimpses of the system, not a long enough to really process it, what the system will look like, but the controller, we see controller, what looked like the PlayStation on the PS3, a more improved version for PS4. We have the game's wetness, graphics of what it looked like, watchdogs. We even have the PlayStation Move. I, I think that's going to be interesting, being able to make that more like a 4D experience or however you want to call it. Drive Club, Second Son. I mean, it seemed like they really wanted to get in uh, connect with the gamer audience and show them how hard they've been working on improving the gaming experience. And instead of trying to bring in other living room futures for the family, they seem to be improving the games. And through the games, if other people feel like uh, it may be enjoyable for the whole family, then that just means that they'll come in and buy it rather than trying to specifically target the system for the for the family audience like like Xbox One did. But I'm pretty sure either way it goes, there's going to be a lot of uh, diehard fans waiting outside to buy both the Xbox One and PS4. But right now, it seems like I'm leaning to PS4. So peace out, everybody.